I don't particularly like reading, uh, reading from a script, but this is such an important issue, I've taken the opportunity to write a few th things down. So, like most of our people, I'm sick and tired of seeing us dragged through the mud in the papers. These headlines aren't helpful and frankly, aren't a fair reflection of CFA today. 99% of our people, be they volunteers, our career staff, our admin staff, do a terrific job. That is why I am frustrated that the focus is unfairly squared on the handful of people that aren't. People absolutely have a right to feel safe and welcome at work, whether that is at headquarters or on the fire ground. I've been very clear with my expectations for conduct and behaviour. We take the welfare of all our people as a serious priority. We have made significant changes, including new leadership. We've also made a number of significant changes to our structure to put inclusion at the forefront of the organisation and our thinking and our actions. Where we need to take further action, we absolutely will. But I won't cop our terrific organisation being dragged through the mud. My focus is on the future and on growing our organisation. While I'm interested in, while I'm not interested in raking over the past, it is worth putting on record that in the past there was much division within the organisation. But we've turned a corner and that has started with strong leadership from the top. No more blame game. Let's get on with our good work in keeping the state safe and CFA the champion agent, agency it is. Thank you.